right, everybody, we are here with uh, Washboard Union. It's the KX Morning Ride with Ellis and Archer uh, on radio and on camera here. Hello, you're on cam camera. Uh, first of all, welcome to our uh, palatial studios here at KX 96. <laughs> uh, thanks for doing this. Really appreciate it. Man, it's good yeah. to see you again. Good to see you guys. It's great to be back. How's everybody doing? Doing fun and having fun? Fantastic, man. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's good to be out here. Um, you know, we, we didn't expect to actually be out here for this week, uh, but with that uh, Juno nomination, we oh. all of a sudden got shows and now we're booking wow, hanging out with all you fine folks so it's, it's good to be here he's dropping the juno nod already but, but now that you brought it up did we want to mention that we were nominated for juno <laughs> did, did we mention they're nominated for a juno everybody yeah. i was going to say washboard union washboard <laughs> not no but seriously uh i found it ironic that the uh the nominations for breakthrough artists that's it but you you know you look at you've already got ccmas and other awards i mean uh does it kind of feel funny to get for breakthrough artists uh, well, I think next year when we get Lifetime Achievement Awards, yeah, it really makes yeah, sense. Yeah, they're speeding so, things yeah, up a little exactly. bit, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. How's it feel? <laughs> well, I mean, we, I mean, we in country music, we maybe you know know about that, but the reality is that a lot of people still don't know about what we do, right. and sometimes we can get, but you know, even insular a little bit and think, oh wow, we know we do a lot of stuff, meet a lot of people, yeah. play a lot of shows, but yeah. there's still a lot of people who do not know about us, and and I guess you know that uh, that organization is one of them, so. What would you like people that don't know about you that are trying to find out about you right now? What would you like them to know about you? Other than the fact that you have knocked down drag out fights all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's us. I've seen it. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I think people are going to discover Washboard Union for the first time this weekend at the Junos that maybe don't listen to a lot of country music, and we're thrilled. I mean, one of the biggest compliments we get is, I don't listen to country music, but mm. I love you guys. Mm. And the more that you know, country music can be spread to people, don't listen to it and there's so many faces to country music that um, I, you know I think we're we're different from a lot of others that are out there and I think it's just fantastic anyone who discovers the band and starts listening to it it's, it's a great feeling isn't that true about any type of music now when you see um, music is morphing uh, you have artists uh, not only doing pop songs but country songs but uh, it almost to me I, I always believe that it's a shame they put music into any kind of category or title on it yeah, it seems to be becoming kind of more European where people can like several different styles of music at the same time and, and it's no big deal anymore. Whereas it used to be, you know, you can only like punk and you can only like rap and you can only like country, but now people just enjoy music. Yeah, it was about, it's uh, almost a year that the other album was released, uh, What We're Made Of. Uh, as a matter of fact, it dropped the same day you guys came to our 20th anniversary. That's right. Oh, Carolyn that's and right. I, so I want to thank you again for, for doing that that day. But uh, in the year that's passed, uh, what are you doing now moving forward? New music coming out is a brand new single too. Yeah, we just released a brand new single. Uh, we did the video for that as well, so that's that's online. You can see that. Um, it's uh, as we say, magical. It's a magical. Oh, video. Oh. Yeah. And uh, but you know, we've uh, it never stops for us. I mean, that's the the next single, and uh, we've already been writing uh, more songs for the next album. Um, it's you know, we we love to write. We love to make the best songs we can to put on on the albums, and, and so we can eventually play these things live yeah. for the people that uh, come out of these shows and the live show is such a big part of what we do now and we love that connection with our fans and, and we can't do that without them um, so the songwriting process is, is a very important part of that so we've already have you know tw at least 20 wow. songs now for the next record and we still have more ready to go so you told us about the process for writing songs what about the process for choosing those songs how do you wow. decide what you're going to put on your next project it's the strangest, it's the <laughs> yeah. strangest thing, and we get asked that a lot because we write so much. I think we wrote 35 songs for what we're made of, and about the same for In My Bones. Um, it, there, certain songs were meant to go together, and I think that they find their way, and those choices become easier. There's certainly some wrestling matches over you know, the last few that end up on a particular record, but some of them make sense going together. And the interesting thing when you write this much music is your favorite song is the last one you wrote. So when you can be objective and actually step back, um, you realize that those songs are all snapshots, little Polaroids of moments in time that you had together. And um, when you can string them together properly, it becomes a great album. So I think that's what happened with what we're made of. It's, it's a story that literally is made up of a whole bunch of stories of people we met along the way, from survival stories to yeah. love stories to heartbreak and all those kinds of things. And so our fans are all over that record and inside the lyric of every song. So I can't wait for the next one to, to find its form as we go through the process. And of course the album was award winning. Does it, uh, is it a certain validation when that happens for you? I mean, it's, hey, everyone says it's nice to be nominated, but when you win, it's better, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, winning's amazing, that's what it's all about. No. Uh, you know what, it's, um, 
you don't set out to, to win awards. Right. Um, you do it because you love it, and we love songwriting, and, and that's the real reward right there is where you can walk away from a, a great writing session and go, that was really cool. We just did something that didn't exist. Right. So. What about, uh, okay, we should mention too, this is the big um, announcement here, uh, that you will be doing a very special performance uh, at the Queen's Plate. This uh, is so cool. How did this come to, was it because you snuck on, not really, but <laughs> snuck on <laughs> in there and did the video, uh, or what, how did this come to be? We're actually gonna race a horse, <laughs> so that's gonna be something special. This oh, year. that explains <laughs> a long face. <laughs> oh! oh Thank you. We're waiting all Thank you. for that. CCMA uh, <laughs> morning show right here, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we do it. Anyway, no, seriously. <laughs> how, did, how did it all come to be? Yeah, horse and a side. Uh, you know, oh, horse oh, 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 come on. Three for three. Let's uh, go. Wow. Uh, you know, it, it's, Woodbine holds a very special place in our heart because we shot the Shot of Glory video, uh, or a portion of it With there. Permission. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, you know, it's just nice to be to come back to that. It's such a major event for um, uh, for for Canada in, in general, oh, but, gosh. like, it's a huge event there. So um, we're just honored to be a part of that and, um, and play along. So do you do several songs, or how? what's the performance? Oh, no, it's, it's a full a of, concert, yeah. absolutely. I mean, we, we got to see that. pictures when, when it first got mentioned to us. We got to see pictures of Brad Paisley and others. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a big music festival, and so we're so thrilled to be there on the Friday night. It's going to be fantastic. Um, but it's a full-on washboard show, all the bells and whistles, minus the bells and whistles. <laughs> <laughs> there is a chance that Meghan Markle may get up and sing with the washboard unit. Wouldn't that be cool? Ooh. One of the uh, royals have the queen up there or something. But anyway. She can carry a tune. Hey, she can oh. carry a tune. Well, thank you so much for coming by. We look Got forward it. to playing the new single, which, by the way, I'm told we are going to be. Okay, so we're adding some stuff <laughs> for you. All right. And uh, well, anything you guys do, it's great. Uh, congratulations. Good luck. I, I hope you thank win you. the uh, Juno Award. Thank you. And watch the unbridled oh. success. Oh, that's three. And music of Washboard Union at the Queen's Plate. Get your tickets now. A triple crown of puns. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks. Oh! oh! Where'd that come from? He's got horseshoes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! oh.